right, we're here in the 1954 Milan bus. I'm gonna ask Gene, the owner, to explain the uh, history of this bus and how he came to acquire it. All right, Max, we're driving the 1954 Milan Deluxe Microbus, that I've owned since the end of 2011. And this is a very special bus. It's got 23,014 kilometers. you come to own this car? Well, a couple of guys in the, in the hobby. One's in the broker end, Brendan Finn, and another one was in the restoration, mainly preservation, and then Mark Laprior. I was buying buses and doing some uh, upkeep and work on them, some small uh, body work. Brendan was the
kept the bus, didn't drive it much, and upon his passing, the bus was put up for sale as his family. That's usually what happens. So for all you guys collecting buses, make sure someone knows what they're worth. Uh, but the bus that, that was acquired by a collector in Milan named uh, Michelle Caputo, and he was a VW Porsche Audi dealer, and he had a collection, a fine collection of early VWs and Porsches, and this was supposedly one of his prized possessions, and he showed the proudly shown the car and some of the big events in Bad Hamburg in Germany. And the last the bus was seen was 1995. He passed in 2010. And then the first thing that happens is the bus was sold once he was gone. And uh, I was fortunate that the bus became available in Europe. And it was a broker had control of it. And a collector from the West Coast who would chase the bus for years found out about it. He purchased it sight unseen, never really took ownership, and it passed through his hands. He made his cut, and it ended up with me. So it was really a great find for me. I'd never be able to find another one like this for that much. So I was really fortunate. And we've driven it very little. This is the first time I've driven this bus in 10 years. We've had guys, guys who work for us driven it over the years. And the last two, I no one could drive it because we couldn't, we lost the key. So Mark was out yesterday. Mark put a new tumbler, a key lock, whatever it is in there. And Chris got it running today. And for a bus that hasn't been driven a lot, it runs beautifully. So you mentioned um, that this bus was built in Wolfsburg. Were yes. many buses built in Wolfsburg or did production move somewhere else no. early on? No, good question. They were built in Wolfsburg from April, March, March, April of 1950 through mid year 1955. And then they moved to Hanover, where they're still built. And I believe they're still I believe they're gonna build the bus there. Oh. Cool. Now they didn't make very many of these things, and these were the the deluxe model, the top of the line. This is the 23 window right, that you hear people talk about. And they were called Sambas. And part of the design of these buses were to tour the Alps. You had windows all the way around. You had the skylights, the sunroof up top. And people would buy these things and tour the Alps. And, and there weren't a lot of them. And people bought these vehicles to drive. They didn't buy them at keep them in their uh, whatever stables or quarters for their cars they drove them and used them so you know we're not talking long after world war ii there weren't a lot of materials there were uh, you know there was a lot of money in europe at the time so right they were mostly built the buses were built for work vehicles yeah whether they were small pickups or they were the panel vans they weren't really people haulers, they were work trucks. Right. And very, very few survived. Yeah, I, that, that kind of segues into what I was gonna ask is, how many others in the, con in the condition that this bus is in exist in the world, if any? Interesting question. There's another bus, a 1952 bus called the Hornbecker bus. And Which that is, you own, correct? I used to own that car. It's now owned by uh, uh, Kevin Bradburn. And it is, you know, there's a debate, guys, debate back and forth, which one's more original, which one's a better one. Well, that one's earlier. That one has a great history, too. It's been owned by some of the, the uh, legendary collectors of the, the bus hobby. And uh, it's very, very original. It has a little bit, has like 19,000 miles. Yeah. This one has like 14,000. Each bus is special in its own right. Right. That one's very early though. Yeah. So most people are gonna pick that one and you know it probably deserves to be the uh, the king of the hill and this one is uh, maybe this one's the prince. So yeah. Waiting, waiting, you know, waiting its turn. Well, it's not too bad because they all once sat next to each other, so they did along with the Smith bus, and the Smith bus is another legendary 1954 bus that yeah has a great documented history of the Smith family that uh, Mr. Smith was a photographer for one of the cinemas in the 50s and he was overseas doing a movie and he took his family and he documented the uh, summer they spent in Europe yep. with the family and it's got fabulous history, fabulous documentation. And that 
bus was restored. Probably didn't need to be restored, but it was restored and was restored to the highest level. And the same uh, same buyer, Kevin Brandburn, owns that bus. Yeah. So would you say, you know, is this as it sits would be the uh, crown jewel of your Volkswagen collection? Yeah, this definitely is. This is, uh, this is a pretty rare, unique bus. You know, I've loved it for 10, 12 years now. Yeah. I haven't driven it a lot. This is the first time I've driven the bus in 10 years. <laughs> Which, you know, there's a lot of people say, oh, they're made to be driven. And, well, you know what? Hopefully this bus is around another 70 years. And you know what? There'll be guys who drive it. And there'll be guys someday who are like me. And you know what? You have a lot of buses. You don't drive them all. You drive some. Great, yeah. Well, we enjoyed looking at this bus, and we appreciate you, you know, giving the history of this uh, of the Milan bus, and we hope it lives a, a long and fortuitous life down in Florida, where it's going to go very soon. Yeah, well, it's headed to Naples, Florida. Uh, it's not for sale. We're going to keep it down there, and uh, hopefully, people see it down there. And you know, the plan is every couple of years we'll send them back and forth. So, cool. Thanks for coming for the ride, fellas. We'll do it in another 10 years. Max, here's the best thing about driving one of these old ones. Look at how much we're pissing off everybody behind us. That's a great thing about driving one of these old VW buses. You get it up to 40, 50 miles an hour, and that's all you're going to get out of it. And everybody behind you is pissed by it. They can't say shit. <laughs>